Hello everybody, this is Mateo. I am meeting you by the giant cactus of strength, I guess. We're gonna go play some bongos, or whatever these things are. I think they're bongos. Well, they're drums nonetheless. That's gonna open up this door, and we are going to head in its general direction. So, I hope to complete this world, this video. We only have about four... Black, excuse me. Four golden bananas left. I think. Well, oh shoot, I forgot. I meant to turn in the blueprint for DK off screen, but looks like that's not happening because I kind of forgot. Um, let's just get right on in here. We also have the banana medal of chunkies to get, which I still don't know where I could possibly find some extra bananas for that. Um, but we will check it out. I also seem to be missing a banana fairy. I can't seem to think of where one of the banana fairies would be. Uh, maybe that will show up later on. Okay, well here we have the banana barrel that we need to get to. So let's go ahead, go in there, and we should also get DK's banana medal in this room once we complete this minigame. So, Crazy Cl Kong Clamor again. Uh, just go ahead and shoot the banana, I think. Yeah, time isn't an issue, but you need to hit it a lot of times. It's not like it disappears quickly. As long as you have moderate... Uh, reaction like I do, you should be fine. So it's not necessarily difficult yet, you just need to hit one every four seconds pretty much and you should be fine. Also, having the recorder not drop frames would be great. Okay, six left. Um, I think if you hit another Kong it raises it up by one. Maybe. I know that it basically just wastes the round, so you don't... Uh, you don't get to another chance to hit the banana. But otherwise, I think we should be fine. Yeah, we're, we got this. There we go. <clears throat> and now by completing that, we will get a very watermelony tasting golden banana. And there we go. Four out of five. And then there's also the blueprint that I need to turn in in a second. We are really close to 100 right now. Neat. Okay, so let's just explore this area a bit because we need to get a couple more yellow bananas nothing over here um if we could stop dropping frames that would be great i think it's because this area is just so dark that my capture card is just freaking out okay right over here is the last one here's some coins because why not and there are some tiny bananas over there so tiny's on the other side of this but there we go that's all that we really had to do now let's just find the way out this bony arrow will point us in the direction um i Wow, this is... what? Where am I? Honestly, where am I? Uh, oh. I just barely missed the place that I'm supposed to go to. I went in another cell. Well then, I was going to say, this does not look like the exit, and there doesn't seem to be a way that I can go. Hmm. Maybe there are some more chunky bananas by where the other banana fairy is, but I honestly... Have I already gotten one? I really don't think so. I have! Where did I get that? I have... Oh yeah, it was by the treasure chests. Okay, yeah, that was a long time ago. No wonder I can't remember. Wow. Okay. So that's that for that. And now we need to become tiny and get the rest of her golden bananas in this area. So let's head on over and around and around. And there's tiny. So she has two golden bananas left in this world. Not there. Um... There's a sunken submarine somewhere in this general area. I think it's around here. Um, I've never explored down here before. Wow, that's kind of neat. I have no idea what's in those treasure chests that you can break as on guard, and I really don't care to know. I think right here, it, it's right here. Yep, here it is. Okay, so I think this is actually by the Cactus of Strength thing. Are there green bananas down here by any chance? No? Okay. Okay, well, let's become tiny, and by that I mean become tinier. They really like this power, by the way. You become tiny so often. Maybe it's because it creates rooms that only she can travel into. Okay, so they can put, like, small stuff here. Like, right here, we go into the sub, and then we head on down here, past this control booth right over here. There, there will appear a banana barrel right out of nowhere. Yep. Seems good enough. And we have Big Bug Bash again. They've already run out of ideas for minigames. 
Have we played them all at least once? I think so. Okay, well, Swat the Fly, again, starting it out kind of difficult, but then once you get into the rhythm right here, you should be fine. I don't get why- Oh dang it. I don't get why the Fly Swatter, like, bends whenever you try to move it. It's just kind of annoying. Okay, and last one right there. See? Still a very easy minigame. Which is nice, I, I can deal with very easy minigames. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that, drop a whole bunch of frames again, what is the problem with this? A thing, I don't even know. Okay, so that's 99, wow. Just one more and we're up to 100, and also we have all the golden bananas in this area. Uh, although we still need to turn in DK's blue print or yellow print, which we will do last. Now, is this place right below the Cactus of Strength? I sure hope so. It is! Nice! Okay. So that worked out pretty well. Now let's just head on up and play the saxophone to open up her, uh, area. So, play some jazzy music, and pr get prepared to swim again. Uh, number five, that has no meaning to me whatsoever, because I don't know where the numbers are. Okay, let's just start heading over, head under. I still don't know whether um, holding B while swimming on the surface is, or is faster, or if um, swimming underwater is faster. It seems like underwater. Can we stop dropping frames? Oh my god. Man, my recorder's been so good. I was freaking out, thinking it was going to drop a million frames during this world, but it's been relatively okay. Uh, especially since this water is so dark and there's a lot of blue or whatever. Um, wow, I some- Oh, come on, I was going right through that. Okay, I already have her banana metal, so there's only chunkies that I need to worry about. And boy, am I worrying. I have no idea what to do for that one. Okay, now I did hear a little laugh and sparkle, so we're gonna look around here. Oh, hey, this one isn't guarded by a minigame. That's kind of weird, honestly. Okay, um... So we can just come in and grab this, that was easy. And there we go, a whopping 100 golden bananas. We are halfway done with this game. Uh, pretty much. Aside from some of the other side collectibles. Um, however, I think right here? No? Okay, on the other side. Turn around, tiny. Yeah, right here, we can see the sparkle. So let's go ahead and get all nice up close and personal, try to catch this thing. Yeah, well, for whatever- apparently we have a waterproof camera, which is nice. Otherwise we wouldn't be able to get this one. Aw, oh, come on, I got that. It's totally in the middle, it's even looking straight at the camera. It's a great picture. Okay, can I- There we go, okay, I was free- I was thinking that that didn't count for a second. So, now all that leaves is the banana metal for Chunky, and the boss, and turning in the yellow print for DK. Now, if only I could find the way out of here, uh, which is not this way. It's this way. Um, yeah, here's the bone arrow thing that's just conveniently placed. So let's head on over and out of here. Okay, so where could I possibly find some Chunky bananas? I have no idea. Um... I didn't really look up where I could find them, because I was hoping I'd find them while doing other stuff here. So, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be Chunky, just so I have instant access to him. He doesn't... Yeah, he only has 67. Darn it. Okay. Um, there's none over there. I have no idea where I could possibly find some, or where I've found them in the pa past. I've lost track of bananas. I've lost my bananas. Uh, basically. Okay, where... Oh, hey, here's five. I, s I still need three more. Darn it. <laughs> well, that makes it slightly easier, I guess. But still, three more. Where could I possibly find three more regular bananas? Um, could I? Thank you. Um... There... Am I stuck? There we go. Okay. Let's see here... Um, shoot, I honestly have no idea. I, are there any up in here? This is a chunky section. <laughs> they look so funny when they blow up, by the way. Okay, there's nothing here. I think I'm just gonna cut this out until I happen to- Come on, guy. Until I happen to find some chunky bananas. So I will see you all whenever I find some. Uh, hopefully that's soon. I found a single chunky 
Bleh. <coughs> Holy crap, my voice. I found a single chunky banana. Unfortunately, I still need two more. So, the search continues. Yes, okay. Good, I checked out by the under the lighthouse again where I got some bananas last time. And there are indeed just two left that I just happened to miss. That is so good. So now we finally have his, D his banana metal. So now we're going to transform into DK, turn in his yellow print, and then we're going to go find a boss door somewhere. Fight the boss, put the key in the cage, and we will be done for this part. And we would have completed this world. Okay. Nice. Very nice. It all comes together one piece at a time. So let's go ahead and turn this in. Oh, that took... That was so much quicker than what I thought it was going to take. Okay. Give you the blueprint or the yellow print. Uh, go through your really quick animation. Too bad not all of yours have this animation. Seriously, that takes like two seconds. Drop the banana from the cage thing. I don't even know. Do you just have a horde of golden bananas in your ceiling or something? I guess. But there we go, 101. Quickly look at that. We, this is now half done. And yeah, that's that. Now all that we need to do is find a boss door. Which, where could one possibly be? Let's warp, just cause. Why not? Um, okay, this works. Because there is a boss door right here. Although I feel like I must note that I have not once made it across this thing without falling. But will this be a change? It looks like it will be! Yeah! There we go, into the boss door. Okay, so everybody should now have everything. Yep, that's everything. Good. Okay, finally boss time. 250 regular bananas. So let's go ahead and throw all of them at them. So that's about 50 bananas per Kong. Not bad. Um, not bad at all. Only half of them. And then some Kongs could pick up more to pick up the slack of the others. So yeah, there you go. Next up, um, D Diddy Kong, who has a whopping 80. Uh, I don't think I got 100 for any of the Kongs in this world. Uh, we're probably not g yeah, we're definitely not going to have all of them participate in giving bananas, though. Uh, only m maybe t three, maybe a little bit of four is going to need to participate. Because we're already down to 95, yeah, four is probably the magic number for me since I got all the banana medals. Unless, like, he got 79, okay, that's not bad. So let's go ahead, give all of the bananas... And that leaves us with only 16, which Tiny will give, therefore making Chunky getting those extra bananas completely pointless, aside from the banana metal, which no longer has a point, because we already played Jetpack. Whatever. I wonder why Lanky has that uneven number. Did I miss, like, four single bananas somewhere? Like, in a pathway that I just happened to fall off? Whoa, 94 for Tiny. <laughs> if I... Aw oh man, I kinda wish that I used her instead of Lanky, so there would only be one banana left on the counter before, but... Ah oh well, too late now. So there we go, that is all of the bananas, and who are we going to play as for this boss, I wonder. Okay, round and round the wheel goes. Who will be? I don't know, except I do, because I've played this game before. Twice, in fact. It's Lanky! So, the door unlocks, the door opens, and we need to become Lanky, unless we want the door to just... Um, undramatically close in our face again. Which, I do not. I already explored once, figured out what happened there, and let's go the long way around, because why not? Build up some... Build up some suspense, I guess. Okay. So let's head on up, and fight this boss. Spooky laugh done, and now... That's a nice moon. Luckily, it's not falling onto the earth, unlike certain other games. Or a game that I know of. I can't think of any other game that has the moon falling, but whatever. Okay. Uh, that does not look safe at all. So, um, let's just go ahead and... M maybe if you could see Lanky, that would be good. It looks like that boat should tip over any second. And you know, j just to make sure that that light is working, although I'm pretty sure it is. This is our boss. Honestly, probably my least favorite boss in the game, just because of how dumb he is. I mean, we're playing as Lanky, the one who has like the second coolest powers possible, other than Diddy. And really, the only thing that we're doing is controlling him in a boat. 
That's not one of his powers. Anybody could ride around in the boat, really. So what makes Diddy or er, Lanky so unspecial that he has to go riding around in the boat and not have his powers being used? Like, there's... Could I get unstuck from this thing? There's so much that they could have done with Lanky's powers. He could have, um, like, used his really long arms to attack the boss from far away. Or use his orang stand to run away from the boss if it were charging at him, like have it in a corridor type style of boss, like I think it's the Tyrannosaurus Rex thing from a Star Fox Adventures. I don't really remember though, it's been years since I've played that game. I've been meaning to replay because I got it a long time ago again, used, because I've been buying a lot of the old used games that I used to have when I was younger, and well that was one of them. And I'm getting my butt kicked all of a sudden, I guess that's what I get for insulting this guy. But really, this is it. He will... Wow, I took four hits that round. That is bad. But basically, this is how this boss works. He shoots projectiles at you, trying to knock you out and do damage to you. But all you have to do is, um, go through the stars of DK. And that's it. You will have less and less time for each one. But it really isn't that bad still, so if I could just find these, I think there's five of them per round. Uh, here we go. Oh, dang it. Oh, I didn't go through that? Come on, there we go. Um, oh, come on, I had invincibility frames for most of that, why couldn't I have it for all of that? That's not fair. Okay, where is it? Here we go. I think he has th four or five hits. And you just keep on shocking him and shocking him and that's it. So, really not that hard at all. The stars of DK also get smaller and smaller each time. I knew I saw one right here. Okay. And you also get five seconds less each time, but they start becoming more and more, like, in a row. I think they're actually... I should go this way. So that seems to be the way that they're showing up. Okay, there we go. What's that noise? It sounds like something's homing in on me. Maybe there is, and I'm just going too fast for it. Could I find the ring, please? Um, yeah, I found the ring, but could I run into it now, please? At least he's not doing anything right now, he's just kind of letting the fireballs rain, which it's very unlikely that those will actually hit you. Okay, yeah, something is definitely homing in on me. Um, yeah, there it is, it's like a... Oh, don't run out of time there. Okay, good, is that it? Are you done? Is that all your hits? No, it's not. Of course not. And I have to do this perfectly. fan freaking tastic Man, look at how, s how small these things are. Oh, no, not perfectly. Well, I insult him on how dumb he is, and he's the first boss I die against. So I'm going to cut until I get to the final phase again, and I will meet you all then. See you then. Okay, now here we are for real, and let's try to do this right. So far I haven't taken very many hits other than towards the beginning where I just sucked at this game, which, when, when isn't, when is that not a thing? Well, certainly not during this boss fight. Of course, frames just have to drop at this very moment, barely making that one, wow. Okay, if I could find these quicker and not have me freak out about time, that would be great. Okay, I think there's only two more that we need to get. Somewhere... Over the rainbow... Where is it? There we go. Okay, the, okay, that was the last one. Well then. And then he blows up, and... He has a rather amusing death, so that's really the only good thing to come out of this boss. See ya! Uh, rather, he just becomes paper flat, and then sinks to the bottom, and then he's dead or something. I don't know. Okay, well, he exploded into the key. That makes sense. So that's what happened to him. And then we don't even get to see Lanky's dance. He just kind of zooms in, which actually that kind of looks neat. Never mind. Okay, so with that, oh yeah, <laughs> just kind of leave Lanky hanging, leave him to die. Okay, well let's go ahead, save, exit level, and now let's head on out to K Lumsey's Island. Give him the key and unlock the next world, which we will start exploring in the next part, which. I don't know, this level kind of in the middle of my list of levels on how much I like them. Gloomy Galleon probably towards the bottom, if not the- oh no, it's second to last. There is one world that I hate more than Gloomy Galleon, but we'll get to that later. But for the moment, let's just go ahead, head on up here, 
And head inside. Oh, no, not that button. My finger slipped. There we go. Okay, head on in, put the key in. And you can actually see the key is in the lock. You just need to approach it and then it will magically turn itself. And then Kalumsi will get all happy. Hopefully he actually has energy this time. He does. So he's gonna make the ground shake and everything. And now he's tired again. Hmm. Will he open up two worlds again or will it just be this one? Okay, well, there's this rock. Is that the world? Oh no, this cannon. This cannon is the world. Okay, then. Well, we will start that up in the next part. So, until then, I will see you all next time where we explore the fifth world. See you all then. Goodbye.